Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're making coins, and today I wanna teach you how to make coins right now in FIFA 23, no matter what budget you are on. Whether you're on 1,000 coins, 100,000 coins, or more, or anywhere in between, we're gonna talk through a lot of trading methods today that will be very beneficial to you in your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team journey, because let's be honest, right? Coins are the most important thing on this game. Whether you wanna buy players for your team, whether you wanna do SBCs, or do SBCs to open more packs, you need coins to get it done, let's be honest. So, we're gonna talk through so many methods today, because a lot of people have, especially in this early game time period, they've invested, right? And they've sold cards, and they've made coins on these cards that have risen a lot in price, but now we're sitting here with some coins, or getting onto the game for the first time, with like a little bit of coins wondering hey what should I do to increase this coin balance? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna get right into it. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, if you're excited for today's video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, helps out the channel a lot as always. Let's talk low budget. If you're hopping in this video and you're like, Nate, I've got 10K, maybe a little bit less than 10K, we're gonna start off with some of the basics. And some of you guys have heard about this before and you've done this, but bronze rares and silver rares. You can quickly and easily flip cards like this. A French center attacking mid, bronze rare card has a bid on it right here for 150 looks like his lowest buy now is around 450 but he has some demand because he's getting a bid right you might be able to win this at 200 sell it at 400 boom little profits but you know it's profit that's what i would do first is go through on these bronze and silver rare cards this is the one of the most grindy methods but if you're less than 10k coins this is going to be able to get you flipping on the market and it's going to raise that coin balance up just a little bit so bronze silver flipping absolutely fantastic now this is a coin trading method for low budgets, and it's actually doing insane this year. And a lot of you know this because we've talked about it before, but you're like, Nate, why in the world do these random gold cards on the market sell for like nine, 10,000 coins? Like why is this Enzo Ferez 9,000 coins right now on the market? Well, there's a pretty simple answer. It's SBCs. The advanced SBCs at the beginning of the year in FIFA are some of the most popular SBCs for people to do, and there's so much demand to get them done because they give out some pretty good packs. Now, this year, those packs aren't tradable. They are untradable, but the packs are better than in previous years. You're talking um, a 100K pack from Hybrid Leagues and Hybrid Nations, and I believe Hybrid Leagues also has a 50K pack inside of it for the first 11 SBC. People are doing these because you just get good packs, and that is why some of those prices on the market are crazy high. And I want to teach you today how you can trade with some of those using the SBC solutions. Now, you might be like, Nate, this has been going on for like the last couple of days that people have been able to do this since getting on the early access of the game. Isn't this method going to like end or not be relevant soon? My answer to that is no, because think about what you have coming in the next few days as well. People getting on the full game of FIFA 23 on the 30th of September, that's gonna be even more people getting on the game and doing these SBCs that haven't done them before. And if you take a look at the price of all this SBC too, we take a look at the advanced SBC hybrid leagues, when people actually got on the physical game of FIFA, because they couldn't do this SBC on um, the web app, it was like broken, you just see the price of this SBC has gone up exponentially. There is tons of demand right now, especially for this first 11 SBC. So trading with the requirements of this SBC, are huge, right? As you can see right now, people are going to footbin and using these solutions to get the SBC done because they don't know how to do it with the cards that they maybe have in their club or, you know, it's it's hard to understand with a new chemistry system and all that sort of stuff. That's how we are making coins with this. Now, the thing is, a lot of these same cards have the same fluctuations day in and day out. They go high because they're, you know, they're showing on the SBC solutions list. You're going to look for the SBCs that show up here. And what you're going to do is try to find uh, and watch these players' prices fluctuate during the day. If you watch for a couple hours, this Coquelin card, 2.3K, you know, he might go up to 2K. Um, let's see, what are his peaks? Today, he was up at 2K, went down to 1.8, then he spiked to 2.4. You know, and sometimes he might even go higher than this, than what Footbin's actually showing. That's absolutely the case. Rabio is, is another great card. This is a more of an expensive one. Like yesterday, Rabio went to 1,300, then he shot back up to 2K. Today, he's down to 1,600, and looks like right now he's on his way up to 2,000 coins. Sometimes these cards go way higher than what their footbin prices show. It's all about the timing, and I've traded with a couple specific cards already myself in this manner. Um, there's a Brazilian right back, and I, some people are going to hate me after this because I'm shouting out their card that we've traded with before, but this Junior Kaikara uh, is a card that yesterday 
got in the solutions and it went from literally 600 coins all the way up to 2.6k and people were selling him just under 3,000 coins and here he is back down at 750. Uh, another card, this is a card that I even have right now on my transfer list because he fluctuates so much during the day is this Kevin Rodriguez, right? This Portuguese, oh, is he up right now? Kevin Rodriguez? Oh, he's not up that much. So this guy gets down to like five, 600 coins and he goes all the way up to over a thousand coins, right? It's a pretty simple fluctuation. Even right now, he's about 850 to 900. That's pretty solid. So, you know, watch these cards and their fluctuations because it's it's incredible. Like a card that I bought and I'm just waiting on to go up is this David Neres. He's a Brazilian, he gets in the solutions a lot. Right now he's 950, I've seen him go to 2K plus. So, you know, once you buy a card and you, you just kinda, it's kind of a waiting game. If you know that card is going to go up, it's a waiting game just to wait and see when that card gets in the solutions and when it will actually rise. What you can do is you can look at the solutions here and you can see that right now, all of these guys that are showing up here, it's, it's all French squads. You know, you've got Rabio, Kamara, Taliso, right? And you can sit here and refresh this page every couple minutes because it's gonna update with what solutions are the cheapest based off of the card price changes that Footbin refreshes. So that's how this method works, right? People see that right now the cheapest squad is this one right up here with Taliso and you know all of these guys in it. Well, if you go to the market, their prices that Footbin is showing are probably not accurate. And also some of them show as zero because they are extinct, you know? Like this Cold Omani is 850 and that's a card that I have not seen yet in SBC Solutions. Um, what's this guy going for right now? Colo, Cold Omani, it says he's 850. Is this accurate or not? Um, he's probably gonna be going up. If he's in a lot of these solutions, this is a card that I think hasn't gone up too much yet. So boom, that there might be potential for a card like this to rise even like right now before, you know, as we watch this, um, because people are going out and doing that specific SBC that is shown as the cheapest right now. So that's what I would do. This trading method absolutely works with other, um, you know, SBCs as well, the whole nine yards, people need help with that one. It's not as an expensive of an SBC, but people need help with it. Hybrid nations, uh, the around the world SBC, you can look through the solutions in there too, but definitely that first 11 inside of hybrid leagues is an SBC that, you know, a lot, a lot of people use a solution for because it's, it's probably the hardest one out of all the advanced SBCs. So I know I spent a lot of time talking about that trading method, but seriously, um, that trading method is, it's absolutely incredible. And again, like I said, it's all about the timing. It is all about the timing on some of these cards um, and their their flips and their fluctuations. So if you buy a card, let's say like this boss Gagli is one we just looked at in the solution. He's 5,000 coins selling on the market. You know, if you buy this car, let's say at 3K, expecting him to go back to 5K, you have to be watching the market very closely because if you think you're just gonna watch the foot bin price, that's usually not a good way to read when a card goes up because when a card price get up gets updated, a lot of times that means you've already missed the peak for that fluctuation. So a lot of time spent talking about that, but let's move on. But that method was so good, we had to spend some time talking about it. Let's talk about middle budget. Let's say you're somebody who's on, you know, maybe, let's say somewhere around 50,000 coins or above. If you don't wanna do a lot of the solution trading, you can absolutely uh, do some of this trading as well. We're gonna talk about position change trading and chemistry style trading. This is a staple of early game trading. And honestly, it's a staple every year to make coins, you know, throughout the year. This is a trading method that you can make coins on literally year round. And here's a card that I wanna show you. You know, you have to try to find a card on your budget, right? Phil Foden yesterday, I was buying for 22,000 coins with a center attacking mid position change. And he was selling for like 27K with uh, that position change. Um, and his gold card was, or his like base card was listed at 22K. He's up a lot today though, so probably not gonna work too good with him. Let's go for a lower tier target, Chow Many, right? 9,000 coins as I'm recording this video. Probably gonna drop a little bit on the weekend. Chamani is about 10K, right? He's around 10,000 coins. His alternate positions, if we take a look at his card and flick the right stick to the left, you see center mid and center defensive mid. Those are his two positions that he can be. So position change modifiers aren't that expensive, so you're not gonna make a ton of profit here, but you're gonna find that some players will list up their Chamanis on the market with a position change or with a chem style so like right now, it looks like Chamani goes for 11K. It looks like he goes for like 11.5 with a center defensive mid position change. And his cheapest one on the market is about 10,000 coins. So there's not a lot of like re return on your investment here. Same thing with like a shadow on Chamani, right? 
But basically, if you if you search around the market and fi find the right card, you will find that some of these players with chemistry styles or position changes will sell for more than, um, of course, what their their base card is going for. And that creates a really, really good flipping opportunity. Goncalo Guedes is another one. Uh, if we take a look at this card, I think it's like 7,000 coins. He is a striker base position, but he can also be moved to left mid and center forward. So right now, his striker card goes for how much? Like 9K, 8K? Looks like it's a little bit less than 8,000 coins. Maybe 7.5? 7.5 for Goncalo Guedes as a striker, right? Let's go position. Let's go left mid. How much more is this card going to be? 8.5K. So it's 1,000 coins more. That's not a huge um, disparity there. Like, of course, you know, you maybe like to see it a little bit more to make it worth your time flipping a card like this. But as a card that's 8,000 coins, if you're buying this at 7K on a, on a little bit of a snipe and you're able to sell it for 8.5K in the next you know, 15, 20 minutes, that's a pretty good flip. So check through all the secondary positions. As you can see, that left mid one sold there right fast. Uh, center forward, you know, 8,500 as well. So what you can do here is you can literally just sit with the position uh, modifier on and you can snipe this way uh, or you can go back and snipe the card at its lowest price and try to find people that are listing it up uh, with a position change on it, right? That's the kind of thing you can do. 7.3K there for that Guedes, you know, that's the kind of stuff that you can do with position change and chemistry style flipping. Now we can take a look at the card with the Hunter as well. What does he sell for with the Hunter? Looks like it's about 8,000 coins too. So there's going to be so many cards you can do this with. Literally just go to Footbin and try to find cards. It works best with cards that are pretty popular that people want to put in their teams and it works best with cards that are on a lower budget because you know they can have they have less tax and that way you can probably make more coins per flip on a card so a guy like Werner or um maybe let's see like the Araujo at right back is a card that I've been watching a lot and trying to trade with a lot J Sancho actually position change to right wing and left mid sells very well um as you would expect a kanji maybe with a shadow would sell pretty good you know cards that are in the lower tier budget maybe Osaman as a center forward position change or Osaman with a hunter Anthony Martial at left mid, especially with the cards that are 10K and below or, or right around that 10K range. This trading method is absolutely fantastic. It's a little bit grindy, but you're going to get a lot of deals because people will not know that maybe, um, you know, Kamavinga as a CDM sells for 4K, but actually they list him at 3K because that's his cheapest price. And boom, you're able to make profit very easily on a card like that. So uh, that's a one method you can use to grind the market and do some quick flips. Now, another middle tier method I want to talk about is investing. You're like, Nate, investing? We talk about investing on a trading method video? We do, because especially in the early game, you have a lot of people that buy and sell cards based off of leaks. And yes, I am going to be talking about leaks here because they make the market move. This foot sheriff guy has been leaking stuff. If you don't know who he is, check him out on Twitter. He leaks a ton of stuff. We talk about his leaks all the time. He posts content a lot of times before it drops in FIFA with a very high percentage of accuracy. So like right now, today, he's been leaking Team of the Week cards. So like this Marquinhos um, is getting a Team of the Week and that means his gold card is going out of packs. So everybody this morning was running to the market to buy Marquinhos and his price shot up from like 60k to 80k where he is right now you see this graph right here 67k boom he goes up to 80,000 coins this is absolutely a way that you can trade and i know that like this is probably a little bit frowned upon by some people i, I it's a little bit of a sweaty way to trade i guess you could say um and it, it definitely is something you have to be very careful with because it's not always um profitable and you know you have to make sure you time the sell and the buy uh at the right time but this is absolutely a way that you can make coins. Uh, you can go as far to just like turn notifications on when when Foot Sheriff posts something and then go out to the market. And, and again, you have to make sure the situation is right. Marquinhos, very meta card, probably has a chance to still rise further after the full game comes out. So that's why people are really looking to invest in this card and, and watch his price go up because there's potential for a further rise and his inform is probably going to be pretty expensive, right? That's the idea behind buying a Marquinhos like this after that leak. Now also, and this is a bit of a better method, is you can actually look at cards during the weekend. Let's say like this last weekend, Richarlison on these international games. Richarlison, um, who is probably not getting an inform this week, but uh, had a really good game or a couple games last week. A card, let's say, has a good performance uh, on the weekend. A lot of times what you will see is 
uh, that player's card will actually um, go up in price on the weekend because people will expect them to get an inform. Let's say, like for Richarlison's case, he scored two goals. Um, and then obviously people think, oh my goodness, he's going to be in team of the week. So they start investing. Here, I'm checking position change trading right now on Richarlison as well, right? 5K for his regular card, 6K right here for the left wing item. Um, so, you know, that's something you can do as well. If a player scores goals in the weekend, you can absolutely go out there and, and try to find um, the opportunity to flip a card as people are investing and you see prices rising on the game. So that's another method to trade on a mid-tier budget because you can do that with all sorts of players, whether it's a guy like Marquinhos, like we just looked at, maybe a guy like Richarlison, anybody that plays a good game or gets leaked in Team of the Week, you're going to see price movements and price rises because of the hype of that card going out of packs. And especially in the early game, that's a very, very popular investing method. Now let's talk high tier budget here for a second. And a lot of the ways that I like to trade um, personally are with the quick flips. Hero cards this year, there's a lot of brand new heroes that people wanna try out. These cards are rare, they're gonna fluctuate. When we have times of supply, uh, you're gonna see these guys move on the market. Wow, Park Ji Sung, like Park Ji Sung earlier this morning, was like 240,000 coins. And right now he's 283K with that one going on bid for 289. I bought a Cahill yesterday at 48,000 coins and sold it at 70K. And it looks like he's even up further right now, 75,000 coins on the market. These cards are pretty rare and a lot of people wanna try them out. And especially since we're in the early game as people get more coins, they're gonna go and want to test out these brand new hero cards to see how, if they're good in game. And people just like to try the new and fresh stuff in FIFA, right? That's also why we need coins to try out new and fun cards. So, you know, even a guy like Peter Crouch, yesterday was like 80, 90,000 coins. What is he right now? 130? 150? I mean, this is even a lower tier hero card that's not that expensive, right? But 140K, as people are excited to try out a brand new card in this new FIFA, that's something that you want to look out for and, and trade with. When we have days where we get uh, promo packs where there's a lot of supply on the market and these cards drop a little bit, you know, people are still wanting to try these cards out. So they'll end up bouncing back in price on a fluctuation. You'll hear, you will hear me use that word a lot, fluctuation. That's an absolutely incredible way to trade on the market on a higher tier budget. Same thing with icons. Um, you know, this, this real Ferdinand right now is going for 440K. Just all you all you have to do in learning to flip cards like this, my best advice for flipping icons, flipping heroes, or just rare cards in general, is just watch the cards and monitor their prices and you will learn what cards sell for more than others, what cards sell at different times of the day. Nighttime is the best time 100% to sell icons and heroes. I saw this Ferdinand at 299 earlier. Did I miss a buy opportunity? Look, you know what? I might have, right? It looks like his cheapest right now is 3 330. 330 for this Ferdinand card. Unless I missed one there, but you know, I, I missed an opportunity. I could have bought that card for 299, maybe sold it for 330 and make like 15,000 coins of profit or so. And you know, that's the kind of flips that you can have on this market with these sorts of rare top tier cards. Just again, remember that the cards that are the most sought after, the most popular are gonna be the ones that people wanna buy, right? So watch for the sold prices. Again, use Footbin, because Footbin will give you the price graphs that you can monitor these guys' prices and you can watch them. Carlos Alberto is only 300K. Wow, okay. And especially with the icons this year, the whole position change thing, like no longer is Ronaldinho only used um, as a center attacking mid until the prime card comes out, right? Uh, they, of course, made Ronaldinho's middle and baby versions this year have that left wing position change. So you can use him like anywhere. I think that gives some base uh, and mid icons a little more value than in years past and maybe gives some other ones a little bit less. But that's kind of where I would be trading on the market with that sort of stuff as well. And then the last thing I'll shout with, even just with the most common cards like golds, maybe informs, is just trend trading. And, you know, we've said this a lot too, but it's just such a great way to trade with cards in this game. Like take a look at Zakaria, right? Yesterday, a lot of these cards get rare at night. He went 34,000 coins. This is a great time to sell overnight. He goes down in the morning to 24K and then back up to 33,000 coins. This morning, there wasn't really a peak overnight. He was 33K, went down to 31, but is now rising back up. He's 36,000 coins. So every single day, 
there's going to be some different trends in there. And if you learn to figure out what impacts those trends, you can make a lot of coins trading in that manner as well. So that's the video for today. I just wanted to run through a whole bunch of trading methods on the market right now. I know there's other ones out there. Um, and if you guys have any, drop them down below in the comments. But those are a lot of the methods, the methods that I'm using to make coins right now. I use those bronze and silver flipping methods. I used the solution change trading. Uh, I used the mid budget with the out of packs and the in extinct investing. And I've, I've flipped some high tier cards like this Benzema as well. So I've used all these trading methods. I know that they work. So if it helped you today, smash the thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.